When I first became a resident of Edmonton Calder, I had quite a few concerns with the housing development that I was living in. I believe in my terms, if I would have stayed there, my quality of life have been, would have been very poor. Uh, through Mr. Egan's links, advice and encouragement, I'm now living in a much more structured, safe environment, independent living. Instead of ongoing back and forth communication, he would personally meet with me. He is one of the persons I can take pride and say, never gives up. I believe uh, Mr. Egan sort of let pave the way for me to become the person I am. I've now been encouraged to actually speak at the House of Commons, become a very active member of the community, join many, many major boards dealing with the rights and the, uh, the privileges for persons with handicaps. I was the recipient of the Glen Rose Award of Courage, and not only did Mr. Egan and his staff walk the walk, they talked the talk. How we look after people who are most in need is a measure of who we are as a society. For people like Ian, there are simple services that are available. And sometimes the government hides those services that they in fact deserve and need and are available. As your MLA, you know that I will fight hard to ensure that we build the very best community and the very best province that will work for you and your family.